Hello everybody, I'm Zach Peterson and I'd like to welcome you all to this very special edition of the Altium On Track podcast. Uh, today I'm here with uh, Lawrence Romine, VP of Marketing here at Altium, and uh, we kind of wanted to get on uh, to the podcast real quick to uh, drop an important announcement. Um, so uh, Lawrence, why don't you tell us all what's going on with Altium Live this year? Well, look, this is Zach, something near and dear to me. Altium Live is, um, yeah, you know, I, people use this term halo event, but this is really a halo event that we've now been doing. I believe this is would be our fifth year. Um, and it's something that's near and dear to my heart. If, if anybody's ever attended an Altium Live or frankly heard me speak either on a webinar and met me at a trade show, just generally know anything about me, would know um, how near and dear the user community. And when I say user community, I'm referring to really just people like yourself, Zach. Um, and not necessarily Altium designer users at that. Uh, engineers and designers are near and dear to our hearts here at Altium. That has been and maintains and it continues to be um, our singular vehicle for success. And that's our closeness um, with the user community, the engineers and designers specifically. And that's unique to Altium. And Altium Live has been our vehicle to really, um, I don't want to say give back because that also sounds cliche, um, but it allows us to get very cozy um, with that community and really provide an event that is a non-commercial event um, and really provide valuable information that our, our, our community uh, needs, wants, and desires. And this year is no different. Um, so Altium Live, we've got two events on the calendar. Um, so we have uh, January 26th through the 28th, um, which would be the North American or the Americas event, so time zone wise. And then that first week in February, we're going to be doing the exact same show, um, just as we always do um, in Europe, so Central European time. Um, you can go to altium.com forward slash summit, um, register, get all the details. It is absolutely free. It is absolutely digital, and it is absolutely brought to you in concert with our friends at IPC, which is the new wrinkle um, or new exciting element to Altium Live this year. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'll am i be honest. I was really looking forward to uh, getting back in person uh, again. Yeah. I, I went to PCB West in person, and I was hoping to get over to this conference in person. Um, however, I think this is pretty cool because it's going to allow – a much broader, you know, uh, range of, of uh, people in the audience to attend and really uh, yeah. benefit from all of the, the technical sessions and the networking and everything else that happens. I, I remember last year it was actually really fun and to kind of commiserate over Zoom and, you know, talk uh, talk to everybody at Altium and talk to some other designers, uh, you yeah. know, even though we were all technically quarantined. Um, sure. But, you know, it, it like you say, it was, a, it was a successful event, and I think it's going to be great for the community and really broaden the the, uh, the scope of, of the audience. Yeah, and look, expect more of that that you saw last year, Zach, with um, the virtual rooms where people get together. I was also very impressed with, and we have a new platform this year, which is um, a little more streamlined, a little more self-contained, whereas last year we had... Um, a separate platform for where everybody would get together, the virtual happy hours and all those things we did, which, look, I was not uh, that bullish on um, until I saw it in action. I'll be honest with you, I was, I was pleasantly blown away, and not just pleasantly surprised, I was blown away with the, the sort of closeness we were able to achieve in that virtual event, which is what's motivated us to do it uh, virtually again this year. Now, there are, as I said, it's very much brought to you in concert with IPC, and we are very much bringing the IPC Apex show that's happening um, that same time here in San Diego, uh, January 26th to the 28th. I believe it actually has a bit of a, a head on it. It's, it happens a couple days before. But we'll be bringing that to you, um, some of the finer points of that to you virtually as well. So we're really excited um, about doing a repeat performance of what we did last year, which was so very successful that allowed us to touch so many people worldwide. That was really, really gratifying. Um, but also bringing to you um, some new content and some new sort of partnership stuff uh, that we've been working on that's very exciting. Yeah, we talked about the partnership angle, especially with, right. with Nexar the last time you and I were on the podcast. And um, I think that's something that's really interesting, especially as it continues to evolve. And I'm sure the user community is going to want to hear what the Nexar ecosystem can bring to them, whether or not they're that's a multi right. user. Yeah. 
That's absolutely right. Um, and that's that digital bridge that we speak of, Zach. We talk about Altium has really made their success um, with that closeness that we have with the engineering community, the engineering and design community. Um, and now, you know, just this is the next evolution of it, which is bringing the, the rest of the industry at large, namely, as we've talked about, the supply chain and the manufacturing bits of the industry, closer to those, to those engineers and designers through Altium 365. And if you're using Altium Designer, right there in the context of Altium Designer. So it's very exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you, you mentioned how uh, Altium has a real focus on the, the user community. I mean, I would totally agree. And I mean, I'm a little biased here because, you know, people see me on the blog sure. and stuff. Um, yeah. But I, I think it's this is one thing that really makes Altium unique. When you look at the other CAD companies, um, they don't really engage with the user community so much, or if they do, it's kind of ham-fisted. Um, it yeah. turns it always turns into a big sales pitch. But I think the one thing that's great about the Altium Live event is that it's not just a constant Altium sales pitch. Like it's literally teaching you how to solve the solve your technical problems. And you know yeah. whether you're an Altium user or not, the knowledge is what's important. Look, as the guy that. Um is the sort of final reviewer of, of the content and obviously the guy that hosts the event every year. I can tell you that I am very direct with the team and um, with the, the partners that provide the content and do the content. We go out of our way to make this a non-commercial event. This is not meant in any way, shape or form to be a, a, a sales pitch in any way. Um, and it is absolutely about learning. And this is where we talk about um, you know, learning, connecting, and, and, and being inspired. We, I know it's not, it's easy to say, um, but I'm the guy that puts his name on it that absolutely um, insists that that is what the takeaway is. You're there to learn. You're there to connect with your, with your peers in the industry. And this year, the new element is we're connecting you even deeper to the industry at large um, and to be inspired. And, and really, look, that's why I think most of us got into this business in the first place, that you know, I was inspired by my father, who was an engineer, and we've talked a little bit about it. But most of the folks in the audience have a similar story. They were inspired by somebody, and they knew early on that this was the career path for them. And this is really a celebration of that, Zach. Yeah, that's excellent. That's excellent. And I'm, I'm really excited. Again, I'm slightly disappointed that, uh, you know, I, I wasn't able to travel to San Diego for this. But, um, you know, I'm sure it'll happen in the future. And... Uh, in some ways, it's it's okay because I've got other conferences lined up. It'll be easier to make time for this, and you know I think it'll be really cool to see who else uh, in the community who might not have ever attended an Altium live event because they right. couldn't get there in person. Now you have right. this opportunity, so I think it's great. Well, that's what we saw last year, Zach. Was you know just the sheer numbers of people we were able to um, connect with, um, and the feedback was resounding, and, and that's a big part of it, which was namely our colleagues in Europe felt um, sort of slighted. So we made the decision, look, we're gonna, we're gonna go full virtual and that then allows us to really get the rest of the world, um, you know, the whole world, I should say, in involved. Yeah, amazing what uh, technology can do. In fact, I, I see a lot of conferences now adopting uh, the hybrid yeah. model specifically for yeah. that reason. It gets people who may not be in that country or who may not be able to make the time to travel or maybe right. can't afford the travel, whatever the reason is, they can now right. attend that conference. Well, and look, by us going full virtual, um, this was a concern I had from the very get-go, which was, you know, I think we've all had an experience where we've seen a virtual, uh, attended a virtual event or, or maybe seen uh, recordings of live trainings, because this is, again, this is really predominantly training content. Um, and it, it wasn't, the content wasn't created for a virtual environment, it was created for a live audience. And those on the virtual end of things, I think, kind of get a, 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 a raw deal um, because you're not speaking to the camera. Um, the Q&A is, is not ideal. Whereas when we go full virtual, the content is optimized exclusively for a virtual. So the delivery is really tailored to those in the audience. And then, as I said, primarily the motivation for me is we can touch just way more people this way. Absolutely, yeah. And I, I get exactly what you're saying about optimizing the content for virtual. Yeah. Um, having had to uh, kind of cut my teeth on conferences with doing virtual content, I, 
I get exactly what you're saying compared to, you know, being in person. So I'm excited for it. Um, it sounds like you're excited for it. I know you're passionate about oh, this. Oh, I'm always excited. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've talked to some I other folks in all team who are excited about it as well. So I think it's going to be great. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on and, and uh, you know, telling us all about this and communicating your passion for Ultium Live. And I hope anyone that is listening to this uh, brief version of the On Track podcast that you will go into the show notes and you will click on altium.com slash summit and go register for the virtual event for Ultium Live 2022. I think it's going to be great. And um, I think anyone who hasn't attended an Altium Live event in the past, now's your chance to do it easy without having to travel, without having to stress. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You look, you won't regret it. We, we, we get the best names in the business. Um, many of these speakers I've heard speak many times. So even if you've been to Altium Live and you see a name that you might be familiar with, I've seen them all because I've been to every Altium Live, as you would imagine. And um, I still learn something new each and every time. And, and a great example of that, Eric Bogatin, I've probably heard him no less than 10 or 12 times now. And it never gets dull, and it's new each and every time. So I promise you, uh, your free registration won't go to waste. You will absolutely not regret um, having signed up and attended Altium Live. That's a great point. It's a free registration. So <laughs> talk about broadening the base. Yeah, and speaking of Eric Bogatin, we had him recently on the podcast. And I think yeah, what we'll do is we'll link his, uh, his podcast in the yeah. show notes because he actually had – uh, some really interesting results that he was going to show at Altium Live uh, relating yeah. to uh, some of the tools in Altium Designer. Again, not to make yeah. this a commercial pitch, but it sure, is to yeah. kind of show how you can rely on CAD tools to really get some accurate results when you actually go and do your board yeah. build. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look, we're looking forward to it. And he's just one example. He, he um, He's a legend for sure. But look at the agenda, and uh, I, I promise you, you won't, you won't regret it. Absolutely. So, Lawrence, uh, remind us real quick, uh, what are the specific dates for Altium Live coming up? Absolutely. So, first show will happen in the America's time zone. That's going to be January 26th through the 28th. And then we're going to turn right around the following week and do it for our friends in Europe. And that's going to happen February 2nd through the 4th in uh, local European time zone. Well, thank you again. Um, I think we're going to wrap this up, but um, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on here and making this announcement. Everybody, if you're listening, uh, go to allteam.com slash summit or click the link in the show notes and uh, go register for Altium Live coming up in January. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Lawrence. And uh, don't stop learning and stay on track.